Welcome to another top list motor vehicles. In this video we take a look at the 10 best Nissan sports cars ever built. Coming in at number 10, the Nissan Pulsar GTIR. Created for homologation to compete in the World Rally Championships from 1990 all the way to 1994, this Nissan Pulsar was not the everyday commute that we are all accustomed to seeing with an all-wheel drive layout holding the all-famous SR20 turbo engine, this little pocket rocket was producing 227 brake horsepower. Now that might not sound like much power, but with the car only weighing just over 1,200 kilograms, 0 to 60 can be achieved in under 6 seconds. I guess something you would expect from a car with such a huge hood scoop and a big wing. Number 9. The Nissan 180SX. Spanning a decade in production, it first appeared in 1989 as the sister model to the Nissan Silvia S13. And while the S13 was scrapped in 93, the 180SX further continued its production due to popular demand. Originally, the 180SX packed a 1.8 litre turbocharged engine, producing 167 brake horsepower. However, with the production of the SR20 turbocharged engine, it eventually made its way into the 180SX, turning the 180SX into a fun and characterised drift car Nissan could offer. Number 8. The Nissan Stagia Perhaps one of Nissan's most underrated vehicles ever produced, the Nissan Stagia looks just like any other big family wagon. However, don't let the bodywork fool you because the top of the line Stagia the 260 RS features many of the R33 Skyline GTR's mechanics, including an all-wheel drive system, manual transmission, and the legendary 2.6-litre six-cylinder twin-turbo producing 276 brake horsepower was underneath the hood. The Stagia had such an intimidating presence that it would make the Subaru Legacy Touring Wagon soil itself. Number 7. The Nissan 200SX S14 With its newer and more rounded styling, the S14's wheelbase was increased to improve handling. Performing as a much better car than the S13, the S14 200SX was a car that was most desired, a rear wheel drive layout that weighs relatively light and you also add in a more refined SR20 turbocharged engine which now includes a larger turbo and variable cam timing. This is one car that all Japanese car enthusiasts would want to have on their bucket list. Number 6. The Nissan 300ZX Known as one of the most iconic Japanese sports cars during the 90s, this was sadly the last time we would ever see the ZX model in production. Beginning its life in 1989, a few variants were offered for the 2x2-seater sports coupe including a turbocharged 3.0-litre V6 twin-turbo version that pumped out 300 brake horsepower. Throughout the life of the 300ZX, this car won multiple awards for its pure performance and handling capabilities. Number 5. The Nissan 240Z Arriving in 1970, the 240Z was designed similar to a Jaguar and was regarded as a poor man's Jag. Powered by a 2.4-litre six-cylinder engine, the block produced 151 brake horsepower, which was quite a considerable amount as the car weighed just over 1,000 kilograms. Through its five-year span, the engine grew to 2.6 litres, then 2.8 litres, eventually leading to a heavier car, but also producing 20 more horses. Today, the 240Z is deemed as one of the best-looking cars ever built. Number 4. The Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR This is where the original Skyline GTR all began. First arriving in 1969, the Skyline 2000 GTR was an immediate candidate for a future icon. Coming equipped with a 160 brake horsepower 2.0-litre 6-cylinder engine and a 5-speed manual transmission, the stripped-out version was competing in the Japanese Grand Prix series. The Hakosuka Skyline racked up 46 straight and outright class wins and with more than 50 overall wins in the three years of competition, this cemented the GTR 
as a legend. Number 3. The Nissan GTR The spawn of this no-nonsense supercar was built as the successor to the R34 Skyline GTR, which had ceased in production for almost half a decade. With a dual-clutch transmission, coupled with a state-of-the-art all-wheel drive system, the GTR would destroy many of its much more expensive competitors. Powered by a 3.8-litre V6, originally producing 487 brake horsepower, this was Nissan's defined answer to the world of exotic supercars. Number 2. The Nissan Skyline GTR Every generation of the Skyline GTR, from the R32, R33 and the R34, was truly a phenomenal piece of automotive engineering. Without these models from 89 all the way to the early 2000s, there wouldn't be a Nissan GTR today. The Skyline GTR is an iconic vehicle that every car enthusiast must know. Packing a huge racing heritage, the car was far more superior and faster than its rivals and even punching well above its limits, being able to compete with many manufacturers such as Porsche and Ferrari. The Skyline GTR packed the all-famous RB26 twin-turbo engine, which was rated at 276 brake horsepower, but could easily produce over 500 horses. And coming in at number 1, the Nissan R390. Only produced to become eligible to compete in the 24-hour Le Mans series, this was because all race cars had to be based off a road-going car. So this arguably led to Nissan's most craziest road-going car ever built. Behind the driver's seats holds a 3.5-litre V8 twin-turbo that can go to a top speed of 220 miles per hour, which was the third fastest car in the world and the fastest Japanese car at the time. With a six-speed sequential manual transmission and a rear-wheel drive layout, the R390 was in the same class as the Porsche 911 GT1 and the Mercedes CLK GTR. Unfortunately, two were ever produced and there is no chance for us to ever own one. We have finally reached a conclusion to the 10 best Nissan sports cars ever built. If there was one Nissan sports car you could own, which one would it be? Put it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of this series, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for future top list motor vehicles. Thank you for watching.